Yo, what is good, YouTubes? It's your boy, Ray, and this is the Everyday City Carry, and today I have got a first impressions and kind of unboxing video. I think this is from Giant Mouse. Actually, I know it is. It says that right there, but I don't know which knife it is. Let's check it out, though. This video was brought to you by Asia the Amazing Outdoors. Located in Woodridge, New York, you can enjoy the amazing outdoors in the Catskills. There's camping, ATV rentals, ATV riding lessons, guided ATV tours, and much more. Give them a follow on Instagram and shoot them a DM for inquiry. Or you can email them at asianewyork at gmail.com. Right, here it is. We got the top-down view. And let's see, I'm going to be using the Kaiser original today, which I have done a first impressions video on on the YouTube already. Definitely check it out. This is a nice, really nice button lock um, from Kaiser. And it's super smooth, super cool and under 100 bucks. Slices right through that, too, baby. Now we do have an ace giant mouse ace right here. You got a stickers. Check that out. And it says knives done right. Giant mouse. What do we do with this, though? Throw it back there. All right, let's see what this is, huh? Oh, what is that? Oh, what's this? It says the Ace Corda on the back. I was guessing that that's what it was. You get your giant mouse silica gel inside right there. That's mad important. That is exclusive, bro. Congratulations on your purchase of a giant mouse knife. Thank you, man. Thank you. So I'm sure this is coming via way of Apex Pass Around Group. I think that's where this is from. Let me put this down here a little bit. So let's check this out right now. And then we'll check out specs as well. This looks sick, dude. So if I'm right, I believe this is manufactured by Riet. You get a nice titanium backspacer. Let's see. Is that Thai? Where's my lobster? Where's my Hawaiian lobster, baby? Ooh, he's going crazy right now. He's going crazy. He's trying to find the metal, bro. Ah, it's... I think it's Thai. Hold on, let's see some. Yeah, I believe it's Thai. It feels like it. And you do have a flipper tab right here. This one's all blacked out. Love the pop of color. The little uh, bronze backspacer there. Two spots of jimping. Jimping on the flipper tab. And you have a wired clip which is pretty deep. Ooh, that is tight tension on that. It is reversible as well. Okay, let's put it in the shorts pocket. Good, good tension. And let us flip it. Yo, sick. Already like it. This is the blacked out version. You get M390 on the blade right there. Let me zoom, me zoom. M390, baby. And it says Ace. That's your branding right there on the blade. That is the only branding you got. So there's a little giant mouse logo and the M390. So pretty dope. It's a liner lock. I do not. Do I see weight reduction in this? I don't think so. I don't see any weight reduction on the inside. No skeletization of the liners, but a really good action though. This is a drop shutter. No, but you can coach it and do one of them. Nice. That's pretty nice, actually. I like it. I like it. So, of course, first thing we're going to do is we are going to do the action, ergonomics, and aesthetics. So, for the action, let's see. Is this a fidgetable knife? Am I going to flip this over and over again? Yes, the action is actually quite good. I am enjoying that right now. Remember, this is just first impressions, what comes off the dome. Wow. Wow. That's good action. It's not a drop shutter, so I can't give it a 10 out of 10. Drop shutters, you know, that's what I think is 10 out of 10. This is a good one, though. Uh, the detent, it, it seems very finely tuned, doesn't it? I like it. This is something that if you were a fidgeter, you're going to flip this a lot. It's very easy to do that. Let's put this back here. This looks cooler when I do that. That is the signature of the channel because we are nerds, baby. Tech nerds, anime nerds, and knife nerds. I give the action a 9 out of 10. It's very good. Very, very good. Something that you're gonna flip over and over again. I don't notice any hand fatigue, although the flipper, a little bit pointy right there. So you might, you know, you might get some some feeling on that, but I don't think so. It's very finely tuned, this detent, dude. I like it. Nine out of 10 on the action for me. Very high marks. Now, ergonomics, all right? Ergonomics, let's try it. This is on small fish paw hands. My hand naturally falls right there. There is jimping right there as well. So that's very 
uh, cleverly placed because that is where my hand lands. So for small fish my hands, I do get a four finger grip, but my pinky is right to there. So if you have larger hands, just keep that in mind. Ergonomics are pretty good. First impressions, almost dropped the knife there. It's a little bit cramped here, I think. Hmm. Still good though, definitely above average. Definitely above average. Let's see, and the pocket clip, the pocket clip doesn't poke out at you because it doesn't go up sweep that much. Let's see if I grip down and bear down on this. No, nope, don't really notice that. I'm gonna go eight out of 10, pretty good. Pretty good ergonomics, but remember I have small hands, so keep that in mind. Eight out of 10 ergos on the ace quarter. Now on the aesthetics, let us check it out a little bit more. Your G10 does have some like micro texturing on it. Very nice. Love the pop of the bronze on the back spacer. Very nice. Do not like the wired clip. I always feel like wired clips look very cheap. Would have been cool if they did uh, a bronze tie pocket clip as well. That'd be sick, bro. That would have been sick. Missed opportunity right there. I think that would have been really cool. Aesthetics, I do like it, man. I do like it. Blade looks cool. Uh, G10 looks cool. Brass looks, uh, bronze looks cool. Pocket clip does not look cool. I'm going to go uh, 8 out of 10 aesthetics. All right. I took some points off for the pocket clip and also do not like the lanyard hole going through right there. I wish they could put it through the back. They could have put it right here and it would just look better. It would look a lot cleaner right there. So I took points off for that. Aesthetics, 8 out of 10. So we are going to be checking out some specs for the quarter right now i am on the blade hq good old blade hq baby you got 195 dollars on the bhq all right the overall length is 7.25 inch you got a cutting edge three inch blade width blade thickness is 0.125 i don't know why i said blade width and didn't read it the blade material is m390 so you're definitely paying for that as well okay you're looking at a weight of four ounces it's on bearings and it is made in China, but where in China, dude? The quarter is precision manufactured by Riat, the foremost knife production firm, is what it says in the description. It also says the quarter from Giant Mouse Designers, Jens Anso and Jesper Voxnais, everybody love them too, is one of those everyday knives that knows what it is supposed to be. A reliable, pocket-sized tool that is there when you need it. Thus became the simple, beautiful quarter, Spanish for cut clean scandinavian design that punctuates the functionality of this folder with a drop point blade made from m390 everybody knows what m390 is so this is pretty cool all right it is pretty cool i'm gonna say that right now i like it and do i think it's worth the money it is react made you know what i'm saying you're definitely paying for that baby oh Handle scale sandwich, a beautiful brass backspacer for an added touch of style. So the backspacer is brass, baby. All right. So, I mean, you know, you're paying for the Riat name 100% and also M390. That is what you're paying for. You know, when you slap M390 and Riat on a knife, it just makes it a little bit more expensive. But I do think it is a nice knife. If you like this design, definitely check it out. Look into it. Do your research. Watch some other reviews. This is just a first impressions of what I'm thinking. I haven't carried it yet. But I do like it so far. $195, the Giant Mouse Ace Corda. This is your boy in the NYC. It's me, Ray. And this is the EDCC saying peace. This video is brought to you by the Beautiful Leather Goods by Andar. All products are 100% full grain leather. Orders over 35 bucks get free shipping automatically. You get free exchanges and a 90 day return policy. Maybe you wanna pick up the Apollo. Or if you're like me and you wanna go super minimal and slim, you'll probably check out the Monarch. Andar wallets have this cool unique pull tab. They go like this, getting your cards out that allows quick access to your cards. Head over to andar.com and use promo code EDCC to get 15% off your entire order. Yo, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell icon so we can squat up in the comments.